Hi everyone, welcome to today's SHARE class. Super excited. Um, we are in a special place. Um, this is the home that I grew up in. Um, we are at my uh, mom's house. And as you guys can tell, we have a special guest. This is my great niece. She asked me yesterday um, to make cookies with her. And I asked her if she wanted to be part of a SHARE class. So we thought, we would make cookies for you guys today and just give you a few tips on working with kids in the kitchen and how to make it fun. So first of all, welcome Kate. We're excited to have you here. And what's fun is what you can do when you work with kids in the kitchen is make, create your environment where they are at counter height. Instead of making them get up on a stool, you go, go to your kitchen table, go to a coffee table. So it's at their level. And it makes it that much more fun for them because they're actively involved. And the other tip I would have is if they're just starting out baking, go ahead and pre-measure every single ingredient and they'll be the dumpers of the ingredients. Ooh, That's wet. what, yeah, those are a little bit wet. Um, and so, you know, they're all pre-measured, all of our ingredients, and I'm gonna walk you through that here in just a second. But the first thing that we did is when you start cookies, you always wanna preheat your oven, right? So we preheated our oven to 375. So all of you guys who are baking along with us, go ahead and preheat your oven. And then what we did is we got out a cookie sheet and we lined it with parchment paper, you guys, know that I love parchment paper. It makes cleanup a cinch, right? So we don't have to scrub these pans. So we have that all set up. So start with those two things. Preheat your oven to 375 and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. And then we laid out all of our ingredients and exactly, Kate already knows how to make cookies. She's made them a lot with her mom and she knows we start with butter. So you, I'm gonna go through the list of what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two sticks of butter. You're gonna need a cup and a third of brown sugar, two eggs, a tablespoon of vanilla, two and a fourth cups of flour, and a teaspoon of soda, a teaspoon of salt, a cup of chocolate chips, we have semi-sweet chocolate chips and we also have, uh, you're gonna need two cups total and we'll talk about that here in just a second. And of course, what's a kid gonna do? Who can sit here without eating a chocolate chip? Uh, yeah, that's all right, right? That's what you were gonna do. <laughs> yeah, that's how you make it fun, exactly. So we have to start off with what? The butter. So let them, get them involved as much as you can. So go ahead and unwrap those. Do you want me to unwrap one and you unwrap one? I can unwrap one. Okay, you do them both. And that's a great thing. You just wanna give them the independence to cook on their own. And so that's why we set up everything in advance. And so she feels good about doing this on her own. And you know what? You will reap the benefits in years to come when they feel like they have independence and they'll be doing this on their own someday and making these for you without your supervision. And so it's just a fun thing to do together. And we have a towel here, here yeah. that Miss Kate picked out and you can use that to wipe up your hands. There you go. And you can put that butter right into. Perfect. And I will be the towel. There you go. You can wipe off your hands in between. There you go. And she's gonna go throw that away. And you can put it right over there by the trash can. See, Kate is great at this. She already knows she likes to do things one thing at a time. So she had an extra wrapper there laying down so she wouldn't throw it in the trash. Now you're back to the second stick of butter. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we have you can't see her, she's over here on the side. We have my mom, we call her Mono in our family. She is sitting here watching us, so it's fun for her. Why Kate goes and throws that in the trash, wipes her hands up. She's gonna go put that in the trash. So see how interactive this can be? 
And, you know, I've talked about this in prior classes, but I think it's so important that you don't get upset or flustered with your kids when you're baking with them. You stay relaxed and it's the feeling that they're always going to remember. So with these cookies, like I said, we're going to do two sticks of butter. Should I put this down? Um, in just one minute. Um, and it's your choice. You can use salted butter or unsalted. Today I'm using unsalted butter because we're going to be using a full teaspoon of salt um, to get some good flavor out of there. And so next we're going to add in, um, I'm going to have you put that one down and then we'll stick with this. And do you want to tell them how much it is? No. It's a cup and a third. It's a cup and a third. Of? What is this? Is it brown? Sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah, a cup and a third of brown sugar. So go ahead and add that in what? to the bowl. Yeah. And what I love about this recipe, all of it? yeah, all of it, the whole thing. And what I love about this recipe in particular is most oftentimes for a good chocolate chip recipe, what I put in there you now? use white sugar and brown sugar. Now? Well, for this special recipe, what we are. I put in now? Oh, I will show you. These? And so tell them, a whole cup and a third of just brown sugar. We're not going to use white sugar today. So now actually put that egg back. And you had just asked me the question if you could put the, that down. And so go ahead and put it down. It's kind of heavy. Good. Okay. And then I'm just going to lock that. And we're going to turn this on and just beat it. Um, we'll do it real slow. Oh, I can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Just put it on maybe the one. There we go. Good. And we're going to let this go. Now, it's pretty important, your butter, how soft it is, um, to whip this up properly. If you have super cold butter, it just means that you're going to have to... Uh, I think we have to go just a little bit more. We don't want to see any chunks of butter. So when you don't see chunks of butter anymore, that's how we know it's ready to go. And you could probably turn it up to a six. And what I love about baking, there you go, leave it right there, is, you know, once she's, she's reading now, so she knows exactly what the numbers are on the side, and as they get more advanced, they can measure everything out and learn fractions. And do you see any more butter in there? Um, no. Nope. Nope. I turned off then. I'll just take a peek in there. Yes, it looks perfect. So it's super light and fluffy. It changes colors and it looks super smooth. And, uh, you know. I like that. Huh? Huh? Are you ready for the next thing? Yeah. Okay. So we'll set this bowl off to the side. We're heading up to here to our eggs. So we can put those out here. You want to crack them in the bowl? Yeah. Yeah. And so we usually have kids use a small bowl just in case uh, and put the egg right there in there there you go and then that way if any shell gets in it it's protected Kate's an expert at this she already knows to turn it upright our little trick and we're gonna use that bowl there you go do you need to wipe your hands at all or you're good there you go and then see I'm just her sous chef I'm her helper today and you can put the other we'll put this one in here there you go. And then crack the other one right in there. And see, she turns it upright and not a single shell. There you go. Did you wipe it up? Thank you. You're very welcome. Put that in there. Set that off to the side here. Should I start? In just one second, we're going to add one more thing. Now, this is kind of special. This is a trick, isn't it, Kate? Mm -hmm. So typically, most recipes for chocolate chip cookies, they require one tea teaspoon of vanilla. Can and Kate is ready to add this because this is special because we're using a whole tablespoon Can of vanilla. Yep. Put that in there, a whole tablespoon of vanilla. That extra added vanilla flavor makes all the difference in your chocolate Should chip cookies. Should I do cookies. it now? Yeah, so now I'm going to let her stir that up. I would go to maybe a four. And what we're looking for is to make sure all those eggs get incorporated. And see how it gets shiny and it looks liquidy? Yeah. Yeah. So just look at it and watch it. 
Maybe turn it up just a little bit higher to six. There you go. Good. And now that's good. Things are hot. And all the way up. There you go. Excellent. Now what should we add? Okay. So now we're ready to add our dry ingredients. So we're going to have to lift this back up. So I want you to try to use those muscles. Lift it back up. This is a little bit different than the one I have in ho at home where the top raises. Now Set this over here. Now let's add in the So now we're going to add the flour. And you can do this one in two ways. You can use the big spoon and okay. I'll hold it up there. I, I How do you want to do it? Do you want to dump it in or? There you go. And I'll just hold it for her. All of it? Yeah, all of it. We're using um, two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. And Kate is using a really big spoon. And it makes it a little bit easier for her to get it inside the bowl. Isn't that fun? And it was so tempting when we set, Kate set out all the ingredients in advance and she just couldn't help but uh, put her fingers down inside the flour because of how soft it is. And I think that's the best thing with kids is it helps with their sensory skills and touching and feeling what everything is like, even holding the spoon. Yeah, I got all of mine. a little bit on you, that's all right. Here, I'll give you that towel. Okay, so we could probably try to dump the rest out if you want. You want to try that? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, so, and just let them choose. That's the best part about it. We want to make them independent and make it fun because that's what they're going to remember. They're not going to remember necessarily what we made, except what are you going to remember from this morning's breakfast? What did they make? Chocolate, chocolate chip waffles. Oh, pancakes? Yep. Chocolate chip pancakes. Now, were they possibly the best chocolate chip pancakes you've ever had in your life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she liked them a lot. I had two bowls. Yeah, she I had, had two bowls. <laughs> it was, you know, when you have a good audience, when you're feeding people, that's the best kind. When you have good eaters, it makes it so fun. And you know, she's in a really cute t-shirt and everything, but she doesn't mind getting it, messy at all. It's Jojo. Yeah, Jojo is all over it with all sorts of fun things. You wanna dump the rest in? Yeah, let's dump the rest in. Um, what? And usually I like to ask them, is it okay if I dump it in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you ask them, and then that way they have control over, you know, how much you help and don't help. Can I turn it on now? Um, not quite yet. So we want to put all of our dry ingredients what in. So flour is considered a dry ingredient. What should we put in that? Now we have a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Yep, got that in there. And we'll stack that up here, over here. Should we put it in there? Yep. And so now we have a teaspoon of kosher salt. Should I put that in there? And let me just tell them really quick. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump your hand. Um, we're using kosher salt today. Remember, I'm not a big fan of iodized salt because it's super sharp and it can make things a little bit too uh, yeah. salty. Do you like salt? Like eating it plain? Yeah. And if they want to taste test it, let them. Because that's the best part. They'll develop their taste buds and all the different flavors between sweet and salty. You know, she already tried the chocolate chip. And you, you want to taste that salt? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel about salt sometimes too. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just clean up our little area here, and you can have them do that, or you know, mom or dad could do that. Okay, what should we do? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I like this trick. So with once all the dry ingredients are added in, we're going to put the lid down. Can you gently put that down with your muscles? There you go. Now listen, we don't want to necessarily spin this. Okay, now you can stop it. There you go. You don't want to spin it until all the flour is incorporated. So go ahead and stop it and then let's tell them why. Because if you mix this until all the flour is incorporated, it'll be over mixed. 
So we just whip it a few times like Kate just did. Then we lift it up again. I lift that up. And while you still see flower streaks in here, add your chocolate chips. Coating the chocolate chips with that flour will help them from sinking to the bottom. Yeah, and you can add them in however you want. If you want to use the big spoon or just do a mixture. Oh. And we're using two whole cups of chocolate chips. Now, another secret to this recipe is we're combining varieties of chocolate chips. It's completely up to you. If you want to use semi-sweet and white chocolate chips, that's the combo combination that we love in our house. And that's what we're using here, but you can use milk chocolate and white chocolate chips or dark chocolate. It's completely up to you. Yeah, do a double fisted and yeah, toss them in there. <laughs> and see how fun that is? And they drop a few and she just picks them up as you go. And it makes it super fun. I see one right there. Yeah, maybe the ones on the floor we'll put over there in the trash in our bowls. Good job. Oh, there you go. And then we have one right there, right by the mixer. Good. Yeah, let them add them in how they want. Another fun thing when they're young, especially toddlers, this is kind of funny, but you can count them. One, I'll just go to 20. One, two, three, four, five. So you and you kind of get the point that you're teaching as you go and it can be as simple as you want it with counting or like I said with measuring cups um, learning fractions is fantastic gotcha. <laughs> are your fingers dirty and see maybe I'll wipe some on your hand no not right now we'll do that later maybe <laughs> and I'll just clean up behind you I'm, I'm putting some some white and some black and some some black and some white. I think that's perfect. And you're just sprinkling them around everywhere and let them have fun in how they do this. That's the best part of this. And they get to use their creativity. And they get the Got freedom. <laughs> You're doing terrific. Yeah, and you can put that one over there in the Yep, right there, perfect. Yeah, that cord is kind of in the way there. But yeah, that trick of keeping some of that flour, um, don't over mix that. And you certainly do not, you can do this by hand with a spoon. I just tend to like to use a mixer, especially with kids, it's fun for them. Oh, oops. Did you lose a few chocolate chips? Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, just watch that cord so you don't go under there. There we go. So we heard the beep on the oven. So we're at 375 degrees. Another thing you can get out is a cookie scoop. And this is a great thing for their motor skills to learn how to use a cookie scoop. If you don't have a cookie scoop, it's okay. You can grab two teaspoons and uh, get a spoonful of cookie dough and then push it out with the other spoon. But what if you want uniform cookies like the pros, get a cookie scoop. It'll be one of the best tools you have in the kitchen. You can measure muffins with them, cookies, watermelon, cantaloupe. They're a great tool. And Kate's here, she is almost done. Doing a little bit of each. There she goes, and she's just gonna dump the rest in there. There you go. Perfect. And then I want you to use your muscles one more time and lift that and put it down. There you go. Scooch those over there. Yep, and turn it on. Let that go until we see the uh, flower disappear. And it'll go, oops, I'll lock that. Yep, and you can turn it off, I think. Perfect. I don't see any flower, do you? No, oh, you did. Okay, do you see any more in there? Mm, you see that? 
Maybe just a little. There you go. Perfect. Yep. Okay, you can lift it back up. Oh, did I lock it? Try one more time. Oh, let's try one more time. It's really heavy. It is really heavy. Oh, big muscles. Whoa, that's a lot. So you can grab a big spoon. Oh, big spoon here or spatula. And this is where mom or dad needs to help a little bit. And we'll scrape off all this cookie dough. And Kate's going to get our cookie sheet and our cookie scoop. What? <laughs> all right, Miss Kate, come on over and we'll finish up here. Now, do you need to taste test this to make sure it tastes pretty good? Yeah, I say give it a shot. Mm -hmm. You think we're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to have any more? Now, you guys, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there are raw eggs in here. And so there is certainly a possibility yeah, of uh, salmonella. And that's very important, you know, for health and safety standards. Um, you have to do what you feel comfortable with in your um, home, in my home. Are we done with the video? Knock on wood. I've never had someone um, get sick, so we, we allow done? it. Um, but just um, know that for health and safety standards. Are we, are we done with the video? Yeah, we are so close. Are you ready? Go put that in the sink. And then we're going to scoop cookies. What do you mean, scoop cookies? Okay, so we are all ready to scoop. So let's get this out of here. Let's. And go. like Kate showed us, we already have our cookie sheet all set to go. And we're gonna use a cookie scoop. So let we're gonna let Kate fill that whole scoop up with cookie dough. Now you have to be a little, use a little muscle, and it's a little tricky. How do we get this in there? Yep, just like that. And then what I like to do is scrape it against the side of the bowl once it's full, just like that. And then you can use both hands, Kate, and squeeze it a couple of times. Yep, until it drops out, just like that. And yeah, and so we'll just space them out. So I like to put them every two inches. And if you get tired, I can help you too, Kate. Good, so fill that up and then push it against the side so it flattens out on the top. Yeah, here we go. Oh, on me, silly goose. Here, you want me to help you on that one? Let's see. How about, you want me to fill it and then you scoop them out? Would that be easier? Um, sure. Yeah, that would be easier. So what I like to do, just so you guys can see, is you reach down in the bowl and bring a full scoop to the side and push it against the side and that flattens it. And then Kate's gonna use her muscles and put one right here. Right there in the middle. Can you put it over here? And this is the part where you might have to just adjust and move that over so they're two inches apart. Mm -hmm. So Kate, I think that's probably your whole hand. That's how far you know to yeah. put them apart, okay? You can do measurements. Yeah, she's gonna get it all. I'm gonna smear this in her face toward the end. Okay, so go ahead and put that in there. You put your hand down and see how far, there you go. So that means the next one goes right there. So she's putting four fingers down and that's how she knows her spaces. So it just depends on the size of your kids' hand. And then you could just help move it if it needs to be moved. So now we're just gonna make lines. Okay. <laughs> I know that's how I feel sometimes. I'll ask my kids actually just to scoop for me. You want me to keep going for you? Here, I'll do a row and then yeah. you do a row. And then we'll take turns. And see, sometimes kids just don't have the patience to finish it and that's okay. If they're done, like Kate probably is done, she's sitting on the floor here smiling up at me. That's okay, just let her sit there because she's gonna reap the benefits of this in about uh, nine minutes, I'd say. What? When we get to have, what are we gonna have? Milk and? Cooking! Yes, the best combination ever, right? Who doesn't love a homemade chocolate chip cookie? Me. And milk. Me. Yeah, we do. I had milk. Yeah, you did have lots of milk today, didn't you? With your chocolate chip pancakes. What the? 
All right. So, you know, when we're d we have to put these in the oven when we're done here. So this is the part can where I, you... Can I, can I, what, watch me, I'm not over here. Over here. Yeah, that's exactly, come back over here and let's just tell them that. You know, the oven's hot, so you do need an adult um, to put the cookie sheet in. But what can the kid do? They can. Tell them, Kate, what are you going to help with? You're going to... Oven. Yeah, open the oven, right? Tell them. Say, open the oven. Okay, do you want to carry these over? Yeah. Or do you want me to? Me. Okay. So I'm going to let her carefully carry these without tipping them up. And I'll walk over with her and we'll put them in the oven. chair or you can kneel down beside her either one that works for you we put our cookies in the oven I like to start with nine minutes for them to bake and Kate help me carry them over <laughs> and that's the best part about working with kids let them have fun with this you know obviously we're filming this with my our little phone and uh, she is just enjoying that and helping us with this video and I cannot wait to try these. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. We're gonna make up another cookie sheet and we will show you the end result of our cookies. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we're... We have our second cookie sheet. sheet. It's always important if you have two cookie sheets to go I ahead and scoop out the rest of your cookies while the other ones are baking. And you know, Kate is already on it. She wants the milk and cookies. So I she, pour? Yeah, Who pour that milk up for us. She's getting this hooked up and I'm just going to continue helping her out by scooping out the rest of the cookies here. And she's going to hook us up. Oh, did I just bump you? Sorry about that. Excuse me. There. Oh, that's a perfect amount. You get as much as you want. And see, it gives them the freedom to really just play. And we could all use a little bit more play in our lives, right? So she's doing it the way that she wants to do it. It just makes it that much more fun. And they enjoy it. And hopefully she remembers this the next time we're together. And we'll do this again together and we'll make it a tradition. There we go. Put the milk back in the now, fridge. On a typical cookie sheet, you can get a dozen. Uh, sometimes I'll even squeeze in a total of 15 cookies. But when I'm working with kids, typically I'll have them space it out, like I said, the full two inches. Four fingers typically. How the milks look? It looks fantastic. I don't know if that's going to be a big enough plate for us, but I think we can no. get a couple on there. No. Right. So no. this one, this no. show is all no. ready to go. My favorite, actually, I prefer cookie dough as opposed to the cookies. I don't know about you guys, but it's so good. Um, but it's nice because this sheet is all, all ready to go. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you want, if you can um, purchase up to three cookie sheets, that's the ideal amount that you'll ever need. Um, because typically with a bowl of cookies, it'll take three baking sheets. And you can certainly just have one or two, but the most important thing is, is that after you've made your cookies, that your pan cools before you put on more cookie dough, otherwise it'll bake on the pan. So we just have, what do we have, Kate? Two minutes? 
She's loving that camera, isn't she? <laughs> we have two minutes to go. So you know one thing we need? We need a spatula and a cooling rack. Do you remember the cooling rack that you got out earlier? No. You don't remember? Yeah. So we're gonna grab a cooling rack and go in search of a spatula so we can skip those cookies off. All right, Kate, there you go. Oh, there I huh? go. favorite part we put out a cooling rack here and we can set this down here and you guys can see how beautifully golden brown they are I think one of the tricks to baking cookies is not to over bake them you don't want them too dark because they'll continue to cook on the pan but it's important to let them rest on the pan for just a few minutes if you try to use a spatula too soon they won't come off the pan easily so we just let them sit here for a couple of minutes and like I said, Kate, you already got us set up, right? With our milk. I got your milk. Perfect. Now this is here. Is that one mine? Okay. I filled both and of then, those up. Should I serve us up some cookies? Yup. Okay. They're hot. They are hot. So I'm going to put one right here and we'll let them cool for just a second. You guys can see how beautiful brown they are. And see, this is how kids act. So let them, you know, act the way that they want. That's the best part of this. So I had such a great time cooking today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We didn't edit because we wanted to show you the reality of cooking with kids in the kitchen. You just never know what you're gonna get. Kind of like that saying from Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. So here we are, should we do a cheers? Cheers. Great job cooking today, Miss Kate. Tap that. There we go. Very nice. Is one for you, one for me. Yeah, let's see. Are these still a little hot? I kind of like mine a little warm. Do you like yours warm or do you like yours completely cool? Completely cool. Completely cool. Yeah, most kids are like that. I like them when they're ooey gooey. See that ooey goo gooey goodness? Mmm, these are the best. I hope I like the you milk guys better. will try this recipe. I, I like the milk better. You like the milk better? Wait till you dunk that cookie in there. I think mm. Kate's gonna fall in love with these cookies. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, should I? <laughs> I should not talk with my mouth full, but they're so good. My mom is that. She says that to your mom, yeah. They're so good. I mean, they're messy. Fingers get messy. But that's what makes them delicious. You know, kids love them. Adults love them. Everyone loves cookies. Are you serious? I am serious. Are you serious? I know, it's still not cool. And that's the thing, if they're not cool, then they kind of fall apart a little. Yep, just like that. And see, that's my favorite kind. Can you tell everyone how they are? Thumbs up, I'll take that thumbs up. Can you tell everyone thanks for joining us today? Yep. Yeah. I'll do it. You guys, thanks for joining us today. Love, love, love being with this special person today. She's so much fun to be around. We've had a blast together. Invite your kids into the kitchen. You'll never regret that. And just have a great time with them and make it as fun as possible. Thanks again for joining today's share class and we will see you all next week. And remember, you know where to find us. Um, it's sharing life, love, and food on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, all. And do you want to go ahead and turn it off, Kate, and say bye to everyone? Bye. You're a goofball. You're a goofball. Cheers. No doubt about it. <coughs> Nothing.
got some like milk and cookies. <laughs> milk and cookies are the best.